A man accused of stabbing and killing a bus driver will not be getting out of jail, at least for now. Justin McGriff made his first appearance this morning on a first degree murder charge. The judge denied him a bond and he goes back to court on Friday. Passengers who ride that same route were back on the bus today, many of them saddened and angry to hear what happened over the weekend. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser spoke with people who ride that bus often to hear what they think needs to be done to protect the drivers and the public. It, I, I couldn't believe, you know, how someone could be so cool. Bessie Hall takes the same bus into downtown Tampa three or four times a week. It could have just as easily been her, she says, injured or killed this past weekend. Because you never know what's going to happen nowadays in the world. Saturday's deadly attack has some passengers on edge. This woman clenching her pepper spray during the entire ride. Another said it would be a bad day for anyone who tried anything suspicious. That's a bunch of people, so somebody trying to act up, they get a The driver told us he isn't allowed to comment, but when a passenger asked him how he was doing today, the answer was surviving. His seat surrounded by cameras, communication devices, a panic button, and the promise of stepped up backup. Not only do we have security forces, but our transit supervisors are out throughout the entire system as well. I will have a security guard, uh, security guard with a gun on the bus for this route here especially. Passenger Brenda Pierce says on this ride and those before this weekend's attack, she's rarely if ever seen security. This situation here make people scared. A person like me scared to really catch the bus. They're not scared of nothing. Some of the passengers have also suggested that it's time for the drivers to have some sort of protective booth around them, like they do in other cities. Yeah, something around them that's bulletproof. Anything, you know, just something where no one can get to them. Hard officials say they'll be looking again into a safety partition, but when they've considered the idea in the past, it didn't go over well with drivers. Some of the operators did not, they felt a little bit confined by that, that they were boxed in and they didn't feel comfortable and it almost created an additional hazard. Hard officials say they want to hold a statewide conference soon to talk with other mass transit organizations, find out what's working for them when it comes to safety and what doesn't. They might also get a pretty good idea if they would ride the bus like we did today, not taking long at all to get an earful from people who know the risks of the ride firsthand. I ain't scared to tell them how I feel because it's not, it's not right. Those people are grieving as well. Several passengers spoke highly of the driver who was killed on Saturday, praising his effort to pull that bus over safely even after he had been attacked.